Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For this day. Tis the old ship of ship of Zion. Where the old saints at, huh? Where the noisy crew at? Tis the old ship of ship of Zion. Tis the old ship of ship of Zion. Get on board. Get on board. Father God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your son Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for life, help, and strength being such that it is. Thank you for your word. Father, we ask that you allow your Holy Spirit to be with us as we go into your word tonight. Lord, we pray that somebody receives your word and accepts your son Jesus and be filled with the Holy Spirit and turn their life on over to you. This we pray in Jesus' most holy name. The Holy Ghost is our witness. Father God, we thank you. Amen. Amen and amen. Greetings to you, my brothers and my sisters. I just want to say God bless you. Hallelujah. Welcome to 7 Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, CL Champion, Pastor of Mount Mary, Missionary Baptist Church down in the great big city of Sasser, Georgia, where we have in-person worship each second and fourth Sunday in the sanctuary. And uh, it starts at 1030 for Sunday school and 1130 for uh, praise and worship. And look, if you're in the area, come be in the number. Help us uplift the name of Jesus. Now, um, I know I usually have a little music playing uh, in the beginning, but uh, this evening, the Holy Ghost just been doing this right here. He's been, he been plucking my strings. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, look, the purpose of this broadcast is to put Jesus out there on the forefront so you can reach out and grab hold to his word. Uh, in the days we're living in right now, we need to uh, get, have more opportunity. To, uh, to, to spend time with the Lord. So that's why we're here today. Uh, this week's topic has been, I won't let go. I pray you've been with me all week. Uh, tonight we're going on just another further. Uh, so this is Thursday the 15th of uh, September. We are actually at the halfway point in the month. All right, and uh, tonight our scripture is going to come from the book of Revelation. Uh, chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. And this is what um, has been left on record for those who believe. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail <coughs> because of him. Even so, amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Uh, may God add a blessing to the readers, ears, and doers of his holy word. Our subtopic tonight, I can't miss my ride. Woo! Have you ever found yourself in a place where you had to depend on someone else for your transportation? Think about it. When we were kids, uh, Mom, can you drop me off at the park? Uh, it's time for school. Wait a sec. I hear a school bus coming. You better get outside. Or how about when you had to drop your truck off? at the dealership for a day or two to get some work done and you had to wait on somebody else or maybe just maybe you don't have a car the point i'm trying to get to here is i can't miss my ride if you are fortunate enough that someone is coming to pick you up the very least that you can do is be ready what are you talking about champ look if I had to ask somebody for a ride, please believe I'm already ready and at the window waiting to walk out 15 minutes prior to my friend getting there. Whatever time he said, he going to get there. Listen, listen. <laughs> you got to be ready. Matthew 24, 42 through 44 reads, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, 
he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, listen to this, be ye also ready for in such an hour as you think not the Son of Man coming. Hallelujah. That's God's word. I can't miss my ride. When Jesus cracks the sky, when the trumpets blow, when the, when the dead in Christ are raised up, whoo, one day soon our Lord Jesus will return. And guess what? I plan to meet him in the air. Whoo, to spend eternity with him. Over yonder, like the old folks say, over yonder where Jesus is. Ha! Oh, my Lord, I'm praying to you, Father God. In the name of your son, Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for this uh, this outlet to be able to, uh, to tell somebody else about your goodness. Father, thank you for your son. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word. Lord, we bless your holy name, and we thank you right now. So we ask that you help us, Lord, to live right, to live like we belong to you because we do. To live in a way that you would be pleasing in your eyesight. Who, Lord, can teach me, teach us how to be ready. But the, the song said, I want to be ready when Jesus comes. Why? Because I can't miss my ride. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. When, when Jesus comes. Whatever you got to do. Hey, hey, be ready. I can't miss my ride. Look at him. We pray in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost is our witness. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Share this message with somebody. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Praise the Lord. And I, I, I'm thinking about you, Mount Mary. Uh, uh, the choir said, and we're going to take a trip. On this good old gospel ship, and we're gonna sail it through the air. And when my ship comes in, I'm gonna leave this old world of sin. And we're gonna sail it through the air. Trouble in my way, trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. Look, let me leave y'all alone. God bless you. Have a good night. Uh, see you tomorrow. Be the Lord's will. Keep Jesus on your mind. And remember, no matter what, I can't miss my ride. God bless you.